the past several years, this program has been uh, offered to states. It is a competitive opportunity, so states do apply for it. And for the past several years, Tennessee has been a recipient. So each year, we as a state have outlined several goal areas that we'd like to fulfill over the course of the next year. For 2017, Tennessee's goal areas include provider transformation, capacity building, specifically in the area of customized employment, and mental health. This program through ODEP provides assistance in the form of consulting, which means that we have access to a set of consultants, we call them subject matter experts, who give their time to our state to help make progress in our goal areas. Having experts provide insight is a tremendous asset for us. These are folks who have a vast amount of experience across the country, um, leading agencies. In most cases, they are actually agency directors who have significant amount of experience, not only serving people with disabilities, but also making the transformation themselves from being uh, traditionally institutionalized or other facility-based um, services to being more community integrated. On a practical day-to-day -day level, uh, you'll, what we'll see is uh, more people uh, with disabilities who are living in the community, who are out working in the community, who are at uh, businesses that we frequent on a daily basis, whether it's the grocery store or the bank or the doctor's office. Uh, so we'll have more opportunity to interact with folks with disabilities in a more integrated setting. As Tennesseans with disabilities have more opportunity to participate fully in their communities, that's going to impact not only their lives, but the lives of people that support them. The lives of the people who love them and care about them and want to support them in living their most fulfilling life possible in the community. This is important because it's, it's a matter of civil rights, it's a matter of folks having financial uh, independence, it's a matter of integrity, it's a matter of folks having the opportunity to build relationships, not only with their coworkers but other people in the community. And these are not revolutionary rights, these are not revolutionary ideas. These are ideas that have been around a long time for, for folks without disabilities. The idea that we can hold a job, the idea that we can uh, access the community, the idea that we can move around and, and see our friends and, and volunteer and go to the movies. These are, these are very old ideas, but what's revolutionary is our ability as a country and as a state to say these rights apply to everyone. It doesn't matter if you have a disability or not, you have the right to access employment. You have the right to have a job. In fact, the expectation is that you have a job and contribute to your community. And not only that, but we're gonna help make it happen. We are going to address any barriers that are standing in the way at the systems level, at the policy level, at the ground level, and we're gonna make sure that we address those barriers so that you truly have access to those things. So one of the things that we're thinking about constantly is how do we make this last? How do we build this in such a way that it can continue working year after year, that we can tap into existing funding um, so that we don't make a lot of progress and then have to take several steps backwards? So I think one of the questions we'll be looking at is sustainability. I think that we'll be scrutinizing what it means to be truly integrated in the community. And I think that more and more we'll be addressing the very real barriers that folks are encountering. Um, it's one thing to say that that we all deserve access to jobs in the community. It's another thing to come to grips with the very real barriers that we face. Transportation is a real barrier. If we can't get to and from work or to and from volunteering uh, or to and from our doctor's appointments, uh, it doesn't matter that we have access to those things if we don't have transportation to them.